In this video, we are going to take a look at few system calls. One of them is open. This system call is used to provide access to a file or a resource. So if there is a process and it wants to open a new file or it wants to access a particular resource, it will send this request to the kernel by means of this particular system call. When the OS receives this request, it will allocate resources to the file and it will provide a handle to the process. Using that handle, the process can now refer to the file. So suppose this was the call made by the process and the process wants to open this particular file and the mode of opening the file can also be specified whether it is to be opened in read mode or write mode or any other. Now when this system call is taken care of by the kernel, the kernel returns a handle which is a unique positive integer. It is also referred to as a file descriptor. You can check my earlier video on file descriptors for this. Now using this file descriptor, the process can refer to the file. If this system call open fails, then a minus one return value is returned back to the process. Now this FD or the file descriptor can be used in future system calls by the process to perform read write operations on the file. Close is another system call and this is used to terminate the access to a file. So whenever a process sends this system call, that means this file is not required by the process now. So the kernel will flush out all the buffers which were associated with the file. The metadata associated with the file will also be updated and the resources that were allocated to it, they will be removed, they will be deallocated. So this system call close and the file descriptor of the file, it needs to be passed as an argument over here. So now if this system call is run successfully, a zero value will be returned and this will show that the file has been closed. If an error occurs, then a return value of minus one will be sent and that will show that the file has not closed successfully. The read system call can be used by a process to access data from a file. So the syntax of this command is read and it has three arguments over here. So first of all, you have to give the file descriptor to refer to the file that has been accessed or that has been referred to for reading. So that means earlier before reading, somewhere the process has already used the command open, which returned the file descriptor. Now this file descriptor is used to read from the file. So we give the file descriptor over here, the buffer where the red data is to be stored. So from the file, the data will be put in a buffer. So the pointer to that buffer needs to be given over here. And the number of bytes that are to be read from the file they will be given as the third argument over here. So this system call will allow the process to read from the file. If this system call is successful, then a positive value will be returned. If read is not possible, then a negative value will be returned. Also, the OS will take care of the access control. That means it will check whether the process has the permission to read from the file or not. The write system call, it allows the process to write data from a buffer and into a file. 
So suppose the process has already opened a file which has the file descriptor fd. Now the process wants to write into this file. So using this system called write, giving the file descriptor to refer to the file into which data is to be written and from where it is to be written. That means this will be a pointer to the buffer where the data is stored. So from this buffer the data will now go into the file and the number of bytes that are to be written from the buffer they will be specified by the third argument. Again if this write system call is not possible then a negative value will be returned. For example, if the process does not have permission to write into the file or the file has not been opened in that mode, then that means the write is not possible and a negative value will be returned. Dupe is a, another system call and it, you can think of it as a short form for duplicate. This creates a copy of the file descriptor. So if we use a, the system call like this, so this was a file descriptor which is already existing. That means this fd is already referring to a file that has been opened earlier. Now if we want to duplicate this file descriptor, we can use this command. You can check my earlier video to see how this file descriptor is maintained in the file descriptor table. If we duplicate this file descriptor and we have another file descriptor fd1 and this fd1 will now be the again the lowest numbered unused descriptor in the file descriptor table. So there is a file descriptor table and suppose all the integers are already be pointing to certain files or resources and the least unused one is like say 11. So all the earlier file descriptors have already been used. So if 11 is the least numbered unused descriptor then fd1 will be given as a value 11. So if this copy is successfully created then the original and the copy file descriptors. So suppose fd was 7. Suppose fd had a value of 7. So now 7 or fd1 11 they can be used interchangeably and they are pointing to the same file to the same open file or to the same resource. Both will share the same file offset and the file status flags. And an application of this can be like this. We know that the one file descriptor is pointing to the standard output. You can check again the file descriptor video for this. We know that file descriptor 1 points to the standard output which can be your monitor. If we give a system call of close 1, that means this standard output which was currently being used, this monitor, that access to that monitor will now be closed and that monitor resource is no longer available. So we have closed the standard output. Now after this close, if we use this command fd1, dupe 1. So now this one file descriptor will be allocated to this fd1. So fd1 will now have a value of 1. So whatever was that file, now anything that is written to the standard output will now go to the file which is pointed by fd1. So now this one will start pointing to the file which is, F, which is referred to by fd1 and this will become the standard output now. So this is an example of how the dupe system call is used. It is also used in pipes which 
help in inter-process communication and we will look into this in later videos.